Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and this uh, little uh, rebel paggle is uh, pushing me around. I should murder him for it, but Lama. I am going to be the Thank better so the person today. Uh, do me a favor. Keep your voice the better high Entia today. Okay, we are finishing up a side quest over at Colony Mew. It's been kind of a long one, but we're almost done with it, I think. Something so valuable here. All right, we helped out your Armu, so let's uh, touch base with you. Hmm? Rise and shine. So it was some monsters that were putting my armies on edge. Yeah, they were attacking in hordes in order to expand their feeding grounds. So that's what it was. Well, I hope this means my darlings can relax now. Thank you for saving them from those horrible monsters. I'll go ahead and report this to Tallow. Aw, Tassie's such a sweetie. And then one last thing for us yeah. to turn in. Tassie always brightens up my day. Oh, that smells good. Shall we eat? You found it. Yeah, thank you so much. Now this little guy looks just like he should. I was hoping we could return it to its owner. Except I realize I don't even know if its owner is still alive. Guess I'll just have to take care of the doll in their place then. Oh yeah, I already went ahead and reported it to Tallow. I'm really piling on the pressure on the scoreboard now. Okay. Looks like you did an excellent job helping out. Here's the sticker, just for you. Just don't forget to put it on your, uh, point... Something point was was name card. <laughs> While we're on the subject, Hilda Marie seems to be over the moon. That's one sticker for the report, and another one is a little bonus. Putting a smile on her face is a very important contribution, too, so thank you. If you're happy with the amount of stickers you have, go on and show your card to Shu. We've got enough stickers now. I guess we should stick them on. Ooh, can I stick one on as well? Guess I'll stick them on this space here? I'd assume so. You do it like this, I think? Wait. H how did this happen? Yeah, Tyon, why did you stick yours next to mine? Surely there were other places you could have stuck it on. You didn't have to crowd me. <laughs> but this puts them in the correct order, see? What? We, we weren't just sticking them on anywhere? Uh, uh, what did I do now? I like sticking them on this way too. It has a certain uh, charm. I think so too, it's pretty cute. It's not about how it looks, it's about following the right pattern in order to... I'll relax already, as long as they're all stuck on, right? It's great making memories together like this. Choose in charge of tallying the results, right? Let's report to him before we forget. Excellent, good job. I'll get the overall scores tallied up now. Can you please wait a little longer until everyone else has returned? Hey everyone, how many points did you get? I'm pretty confident in my score. So is Nico. Oh, um, that's me. We know that's you, Nico. You shut your damn mouth. I mean, what? I'm sorry, kid. I wonder who the next lieutenant will end up being. Sorry to keep you waiting, folks. Let me get right to it and read out the results. The winner is... Ayase, with a grand total of 999 points. What? 999? How the spark did you get that many? Wow, Aya, you're amazing. Hold on, this can't be right, can it? And for our joint winner, we have Hilda Marie, also with 999 points. No way, Hildy got that many too? Wait, what? I did? 
And for our next joint winner, we have Kanata, who scored 999 points as well. I think I can tell where this is going. I'm not done. For our next joint winner, again with 999 points, we have... Oh, this has to be rigged, right? I must say, I have some serious concerns about these tally results as presented. <laughs> I did say the idea was to give one point for every report. But it makes sense that you get one point for every monster you defeat, right? And if we did that, then it'd be only fair to give out one point for every flower you water in the garden. Are you serious? Turkey Tallow, you idiot. Oh, come on, we were counting so frantically. Oh, at some point we got lost, so we just set all your points to 999. Well, they all worked so hard, so we had to make the points reflect that. After all, everyone did stuff they didn't want to do, or that they weren't very good at. Anyway, this is getting old now, let me skip ahead to the conclusion. As everyone got 999 points, that means everyone will now become lieutenant. <laughs> really? Are you messing with me? They can't be serious. So, we're all lieutenants now? Come on, it's all a bit of fun, right? It's not very practical. <laughs> so we still don't really have a lieutenant. We worked so hard to get those stickers, too. It was a lot of fun, though. I know, right? Whether it was fun or not is beside the point. What are we supposed to do now? She makes a valid observation. Yeah, but I get what Tala was going for. Let's not be too hard on the lad, yeah? See? Land's understood. If he always makes judgments based on his emotions, they will always be wrong. Yes, now I see. He's in a pod, too. <laughs> huh? When did we start talking about vegetables? <laughs> He's in a pod. Oh my god, Lands. Oh dear. Eh, knock it off, guys. Hey, everyone listen. Thank you for everything you've done. It makes me really, really happy. You've always supported me and lent me your strength. But now I think I've gotten spoiled by that treatment, and that's why I was no good. Uh, what do you mean? I'm going to try harder to be a good leader to you all, even without a lieutenant. Uh, what are you talking about? You've always been working plenty hard. If I really have, then why is everyone feeling so disconnected? Well, that's not your fault, Fifi. No, it is. You were taking it easy on me, and it's caused you no end of anxiety. This colony doesn't need a lieutenant, it just needs me to get a grip on myself. I understand how you feel, Fifi, but are you sure you're ready? I'm sure. I need to make a change. So, do you mind looking out for me a little more while I figure things out? Of course, if that's what you've decided. We'll support you even more than before. We won't let you do this alone. Me too. You know I'll do anything for you, Fiona. Thank you, everyone. Well then, that's the plan. If I just keep doing my best, it'll be okay. That was kind of a long one. The lieutenant selection process failed. Blaming her timidity, Fiona is determined to solve this herself. Huh. Would you believe it? Okay, so at this point, um, let's go ahead and hear any of these that might show up. Hey, look at this. Yep, that's a bit of broken wood, all right. No, really, look at it. Don't you find the shape interesting? If you polished it up all nice, it'd make a cool plate with a handle, don't you think? That's a really cleanly broken bit of wood, huh? Though it speaks more chopping board than plate to me. Wait a minute, there's something written on it. Huh? Where? Oh yeah, you're right, it reads, Need Help. Uh, where did you find this thing? On the hidden coast. All kinds of things wash up there. You know, if that was someone's distress signal, maybe some other clues washed up on the beach. Let's go have a look. What washed ashore? One out of five. Okay. Once you get a taste of lotus... Oh, that's a different thing. The stickers were my idea, but Tallow's the one who said he wanted to plan how to get everyone on board with it. 
He's a good guy, sure, but he's not perfect and he makes mistakes, but he goes all in if it's to help others. Please don't misunderstand his intentions, it's not his fault. His head just isn't screwed on properly. Huh. <laughs> Rude. Would you believe it? Oh, that smells gorgeous. What if... What Fifi said made me so happy. But still, I don't think I'd be much used to her, even if I became lieutenant. What can I do to be more useful to everyone? Oh, that smells gorgeous. So it was down here where the beach is that they were talking about. Dude, these guys put post-it notes everywhere. It says, preserve foods inside, keep away from moisture, Nico. We've got tons of preserved foodstuffs now. That should be enough rations to last us. Though, this would have been a lot more fun if everyone tried to get along. I don't know, you guys are making some progress. the same kind of writing. We'd better hold on to this. I love the sea! <laughs> Alright, girl. <laughs> do you think she loves the sea? I think she loves it. I really do. Okay, let's discuss this, you know, and um, if this is something that we feel like we can do relatively fast, we might do it now, but otherwise, I think we're going to main story now. We've actually been side questing for a really long time at this point. I do still also want to find whatever this second white fog is, but we'll, we'll we just see if we come across out. it or not. So we have these three wood pieces. Fet, Reese, Watt. Then there's the need help piece that Lotus picked up. And last of all are random looking numbers. Huh, could what come before Reese? Water? Might mean water, maybe. The other two pieces don't even make much sense to me. Wait, what if we put spaces in between some of these pieces? Put a space near the end of the that to get the. Then put a space in front of the other T, then we get the two trees, right? That sure sounds like a landmark to me. If so, these two trees can't be any old trees. There has to be something about them that would make them a landmark. All that's left to figure out now are these numbers. I found an island that fits that description, sharing it with you all now. Go tie on. Talk about quick, how did you narrow it down? All I did was input those numbers into my iris's coordinate system. It's nothing to be that impressed by. Well, that little grin you've got tells a different story. You're not exactly great at hiding how you feel, you know. Stop staring at my face, it's creepy. Teasing aside though, that was like seriously impressive. Now we can go help who sent the message. Let's head to where the coordinates are pointing to. We're bound to find our two trees there. Yeah, we went to that island. I don't think it's too far from here. Let's move out. It's gorgeous. Okay, our boat is right out this way.
I was fully expecting it to be Doran and Bam Bam. Meh meh, I didn't know to see. Nara ni Nira Nira. Other pawn come help Nira Nira. So you must have been who wrote the message on those wood pieces. Yes, was Nira Nira who wrote message that flowed on sea. Must strike iron while new steel hot topic to Quicksand Island to go-go. Uh, hold on there, Furball. Did you say Quicksand Island? This target destination of Nira Nira. Want to go there at all costs, is why Nira Nira sent message to sea. So then it wasn't a distress signal after all. It was a call for help to find this island you're after. It was obvious from start. What else need help on message me? But why didn't you just head back to the continent yourself and ask someone to help? Because tiny boat near near rode on break to itty bitty pieces. So it was a distress signal. So you did get shipwrecked then. I call that distress, furball. Broken boat not cause for distress. Such thing only natural part of journey. Near near a heat call of romance. I can't say I'm convinced by your reasoning, Nira Nira. Therefore, we'll accompany you to the island, considering you've got no way of returning home anyway. Many thanks to friends. Now here come Nira Nira, Quicksand Island. Always nice to see a new face. Okay, it's the one we haven't been to yet, maybe? Looks like it might be. Sorry, bro. Look at this place, man. What level are you? Okay, these guys are kind of tough. This quicksand, no doubt, is island that near near after. This is discovery that make feather of near and near us stand on end. Such thrill. Wait, no. What if you get caught in? Quicksand. Such romance! Stupid furball. He's got some legs on him, though. I'll give him that. Doesn't make it any less dangerous for him to be walking around on his own. You're right. Let's chase after him. Charge off on your own. Okay, well, it's labeled as a level 48 quest, so that leads me to believe that I'm not going to run into some level 70 if we follow this guy and try and avoid fights we don't think we can handle. Keep running! 
feet like stakes. Remember Teach's teachings. Thank you, Teach. Couldn't have done this without you. Ooh, a Ferranus. Ferranus Hulk. Oh no, he's he's getting stuck in quicksand. Ah, there he is. Ah, 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 nothing. Stop, Nira, Nira, in pursuit. Romance! <laughs> and he's dead. Nah, nah. He literally ran straight into quicksand. We've got to help him. Uh, we're pretty much knee-deep in this ourselves at this point. A little moron. Ow. Oh shit, huh? Okay. This one's gonna be tough. This could be dicey. Go, Oh crap, and they're both elites? Is our quest marker over there? Okay. I think we got a leg it. Who? No. Leave me the fuck alone. Oh, come on! Fuck you! Oh, this is miserable. Fuck this place. Fuck you, Nira Nira. I'm out. We'll come and do this later. I'm gonna want to get back to main story, so I'm not dealing with this bullshit. Not at the moment. Let's see. You've been using Soul Hacker. Nobody else has learned it though, so you're gonna stay a Soul Hacker. Um, let's see. You have to remain a Signifier, so other than that, people can move around as needed. I'll take the offensive then. We can let you do this for a bit. Take 
real good care of the bad guys. I'll heal you right up. And what are we missing? I'll protect you. All right. So you're in a class that you're not super good at. But I think otherwise, yeah, we're pretty good. Keep you in, that way we're learning that class faster on other people. Okay, let's do this. Main story. And proceed. Everyone, get some rest. Ah, oh, much better. Okay, increased dexterity by thirty three. Power of debuffs on enemies, 33%. Finished. Ooh, we get a skip over one finally. Good. This one can start catching up just a little bit. So it looks like aggro generated when using arts, 30%. Finished. Okay. Extends duration timers of debuffs applied to enemies by 35%. Nothing to be sniffed at. This one's close on both of these. A Centurus Claw or an Anlude Antler. Okay. I'm eager to run some tests. Opportunity to rest is welcome. We can leave at any time. Well, let's get on with it then. Got my identification device on. Once we're inside the prison, we won't be able to come back out again for a while. We must be absolutely sure that we're ready for anything. I just did a manual save, so let's go. We're, we're doing it. 
Monica is staying in the city to lead the Lost Numbers and won't be able to join the party for a while. It's massive! That's the Agnian Castle. And it's floating. Seen it before, Mia? Nope. First time for me, too. I like you guys. We never got any special training. Uh, if our intel's right, we ought to find a cave if we circle along anti-clockwise. Is that the one that then leads to the ventilation ducts in the camp? Yeah, that's right. Quickly. We need to get in before it gets light.
charge off on your own. Perfect timing. Heal harmony. We've got them pinned down. We're unstoppable with you around, Senna. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. think you think the you think this is the one we can break through <laughs> well I think this is the place if we break through this wall we can get outside right all right Senna we're up got it I'm with you hell yeah you too Look at that. Look at that. Beau. I wonder if it's going to rain. So much to see, huh? Now Agnes Castle. Guess it had to happen eventually. Rise and shine. I can't even call this practice. We can do Shoot it. Shoot it. No doubt about Why do you do this to me? Why do you suck? I know they designed them so that like it's hard to catch them, but still. That's annoying. I can't even call this practice. This one looking at me funny. Hey, you! Bastards. Everyone, over here! Okay, last lookout. Good stuff. Whoa, check this place out. Let's On go. And there. Looks like there's no turning back after this. Well, on we go then. Garta Prison Camp. Good morning! 
calling you snuffing reprobates. Beautiful morning today. If only I could appreciate it. Didn't get much sleep. Do you know why? Because the eclipse draws ever nearer. How many of you are getting made an example of and hopes rest this time? I can hardly contain myself thinking about it. Couldn't catch a wink of sleep last night. Me? Nutty snuffer. He's really enjoying this. He'll be a fun one to take down. Yet, nonetheless, the show must go on in order to unite our hearts and minds to keep the world in balance and perfect harmony. This will be your final resting place. So why not live a little while you still have some body to enjoy it with? <laughs> Okay, giving us somebody to hate in the prison. I'll give him something to enjoy. What term is he even? It's not like he'll have that much longer than them to live. Ah, oh, bollocks. It's okay. I'm not bothered. I hate people like that. Is this about the right place? I can't tell from the data we've pulled. We'll have to check each route systematically. Two guards. Probably shouldn't just force our way through, eh? Agreed, let's look for another place. This is a warehouse of some kind. Well, according to the schematics, that's what it is. What do you think, Noah? There are no guards, so we should be able to proceed. You're right, seems safe enough. Let's get down through here. Hold up, should we be taking off our eye patches? Far as I can tell, the people being held in here don't have them on. Eh, yeah, makes sense. Might lead to us getting caught. As soon as we take it off, our signals start going again and the consoles might be able to find us, so... And presumably there are consoles in the castle, so... Lots of guards here. Ah, just our luck. Let's go somewhere else then. Alright, we're in. the kid. Gondor. It's the kid sitting on the table. I asked you a question. Give me an answer, <laughs> fresh fish. <laughs> huh? Huh? Cut the crap. Any lights on in there, you dead brain? Wow, girl. Hold on. Is Gondor a... Is Gondor a what? Finish your damn sentence. What? My name? She wants an excuse to murder us. So she's Gondor. Bitch queen. <gasps> she must have thought she was being funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, so you agree, do you? No, I, I, it wasn't. I didn't mean. Ah! Go die 
been a ditch turd. Mm, she's pleasant. Yikes. Never thought I'd hear someone top uni swearing now. <laughs> Don't you go copying her, Senna. Nah, not my style. Oh, wow. Way to talk trash about one of your friends. Son, where was I? Think it was about why they're here. I oh, write that. So, what's the idea, sweetheart? Now she's playing nice? No, she's not. You're Gondor. Absolutely not. What's it to you? If anything, she's gonna make us her bitches. So, we are about to become prison bitches. Monica from the city, she told us about you. She said you'd know where the queens are. So you are the bitch queen's lapdogs? That is rude. Please tell us what you know. We have good reason to meet with them. To bring peace and to set the world to rights. This shit again? What? I'm fed up with hearing that sanctimonious odd and crap. So you aren't going to help us out then? If you're trying to kill the now, then you can just forget it. I don't know what that means. Um, kill the now? Yeah. Did I bloody stutter? Oh, you just don't get it. Maybe this'll hammer it home. Eggy, oggy. Mom? At your command. Give this lot of bruising and dump him in the trash. Mom, my pleasure. Yeah, she's unpleasant. I don't like her very much so far. Hopefully she'll turn that around. She's a level of unpleasant that I'm not down for. <laughs> so this will feel good. We're going to be the shit out of her. Hopefully. Okay. Her yeah. weapon's fucking cool. Oh, we can't use our... That makes sense. Yeah, we can't use Ouroboros in here. Okay, all of these guys are pretty, pretty, uh, beefy. I'm guessing we also cannot do Ouroboros chain attacks in here. I think I have a break right now.
we might be able to finish Aggie by the end of this. If we don't get our Ouroboros, which I don't know why we would, then I think it might be a long shot, but... Okay, if we only get healers back, we're gonna be blocked from continuing, so... Oh, we did have a break. We had a side break there. Oh well. Could've used that earlier. We'll keep that in mind on the next one. We might be able to get to a daze combo. You know what? Yeah, we're in trouble. Ooh. We barely made that one, but I don't think we're going to have what we need for the next. Because we didn't do 150, so... Depends on if who we get back can uh, get 100 by themselves. Nope. Okay, it's a healer. Yeah, like I said, I don't think it matters because uh, we can't do a Ouroboros. So that probably would have been the end either way. What's that mean? Careful. She packs a meaner punch than you think. No. Yeah. No jokes. Of course she does. She's a pro. That's Monica's daughter for you. Oh, no way. <laughs> Why didn't Monica <gasps> say so? Daughter. Another you Van Damme. That she was born from Monica. Like that baby we saw. <laughs> That's about the size of it. Plus, the head Ouroboros candidate. <laughs> that too? You don't say. It all adds up now. Oi! Yeah. What are you prattling on Monica about? could have mentioned that. <laughs> you got something to say? Say it to my face. We do. Go on then. Why are we fighting each other? It's so pointless. Piss off. No, it's not. <laughs> Why? Because you dads haven't figured it out. 
about killing the now. Yeah. Then stop holding out and just tell us. Set the world to rights, you said. Yeah, I did. Not sure if you're just being self-righteous, but take a look around. Think about how many lives it's cost. Running after that shit already. <sighs> okay, so she lacks any hope at this point. Fine. I can understand that. Alright, that's enough. On your knees now, all of you. Hands behind your head. Disobey me, you'll get time in solitary. Change of plan. Sheathe your blades now. Let's just do as he says, okay? And that's where we're going to end this episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one where we're going to continue this cutscene. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters. Darren York, ZTD, 7th Son, Len, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Molly, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.